His name is Brian Mapp, and I'd like you to listen to him. I think he's, he's got something on the ball. I think he's really fine. Come on, Brian. Brian Mapp. Some people work hard all their lives hoping for just one break that might not ever come. But for Brian Knapp of Granger, his dream, that of performing with the legendary Johnny Cash, has come true twice in the last four months. This song Johnny did back in Sun Records, get rid of it. This little nine-year-old dynamo never missed a beat from the time he walked out on stage to the moment he exited three songs later. He appeared to be in total control, playing and singing flawlessly, much to the delight of the sellout crowd of 2,700. With Johnny Cash drumming on the guitar, and while his band was backing Brian up, all the youngster had to do was lead, and lead he did. In fact, he seemed to be having a good time at it. After the show, the two had a chance to review their performance. I think he's progressed more as a musician, as an artist, as a singer, than anybody I've ever known in a year's time since I saw him perform before. How do you think Johnny did? Critique Johnny for me. Yeah. He did all right. Did pretty good. He, he didn't miss. He didn't miss any notes. No. <laughs> And Johnny Cash may have helped to launch yet another career, that of Brian Knapp. Dolph Pulliam, TV8 News. Well, you wonder why I always dress in black. He was called the man in black. By anyone's standards, Johnny Cash was a legend. Ring of Fire on Great Country 92.5 KJJY. Reaction has been pouring in to radio station KJJY. Eddie Hatfield says Cash leaves a lasting legacy. It's very sad. I, I think that um, basically America has lost a great American. I don't think he can be labeled. Come on, Brian. In 1982, Cash was playing at the Des Moines Civic Center. He welcomed a young blind boy to the stage, Brian Knapp. Hey, Dolph Pulliam interviewed Cash for KCCI and remembers Cash's generosity and graciousness toward Brian. He was one of the nicest people that I had ever met. Um, he was so accommodating to us. He was such a friendly guy to sit down and ch chat with. Things like that. On Mary Brubaker's show, thing. Cash He's talked about why he loved performing in Iowa. Yeah. I feel at home in Iowa. Mm -hmm. I've come here every year since 1957, and I'm so glad that my first concert was in Des Moines. Johnny Cash, dead at the age of 71. Back at KJJY, Eddie Hatfield says Cash never changed his music to fit the current trend. Johnny was always his own person, and I think if there was anything to be remembered about Johnny, it's that uh, he did it his way. 